Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, we were able to put the message of God in, in terms that pilots or aviators understood. So those are the three lessons, Ron, that we, we learned. And, right. and uh, Now, uh, there's, um, that was a tough experience because we had the joy, I suppose, of this innovation and then perhaps one of the most challenging life experiences when a friend, um, you know, w was gone all of a sudden uh, in, in an accident doing what he loved. And, and Dorothy, um, take us through that moment as difficult <coughs> as that is, um, what's happened since. And there's actually a, uh, there's a postlude to it all yeah. also for you in, in terms of a, a grace story. So share well, that with us. Um, first of all, I just, really need to say that it's been important to have friendships. And if it wasn't for our friendship, the Hangar Church wouldn't have happened. Um, a lot of things in my life wouldn't have happened. And before I even go on, I think I'd like to use this opportunity on behalf of me and many, many friends of yours to say thank you for your love and your commitment to our lives. And you know, there, there's never a way to say thank you to you guys because you're just like 100% and more. And uh, so this is a public thank you from all of your friends because we really love you. And uh, we don't know how else to say thanks. So thanks. <laughs> what about the moment actually when, how did you hear? Were you there when the plane well, crashed? I was, uh, I was actually on the way to a dentist appointment. <laughs> and, uh, but um, the morning of the crash, um, um, Don and Faye met me at the, were at the office. Or, it's a long story, but anyways, uh, um, I ended up going to the airport and um, the, the wife of the gentleman that was flying with Mickey, um, she had already been at the airport. I didn't know that. She had already been asking for me, and I didn't know that. But later that day, um, Don and Faye asked me if I wanted to go and see her. And she um, was staying with her sister 10 minutes away in Port Perry. So they drove me there, and uh, I walked up to the door, and Lynn is her name, and Lynn hugged me. And, she, and these were her first words to me. She says, Dorothy, you're not to feel any guilt about this. Like she just forgave me on the spot. And then, then she took me in and she said, let me introduce you to Glenn. And she showed me his picture because I didn't know who he was. And uh, it was a, a really special moment. I think we were both numb, but since then we um, got together a couple of times at my house and this past New Year's Eve, I uh, was able to fly to South Africa and spend two weeks with her and her family, and I got to live her life and get to know who her husband was and meet her children. And it's where, where, where was God in the midst of this? Uh, you know, uh, we. He's. Where, where was he there? Where was he? He, he, he was there. <laughs> How do you know? He, oh, because, um, well, I know he was there because the next day, because I remember when. I was saying, God, like, isn't something supposed to happen here? Aren't I supposed to feel something? And uh, the next day, I think I shared that with you. I just, I felt this swoosh. And I was just like carried. I was just carried. I mean, you, you, you can't fake that. That's, that was God just carrying me and holding me up. And um, I know he's real. I mean, that's my testimony is that He's real, and he's my everything now. And Dorothy, I, I feel there's people watching right now, maybe that have just gone through a very difficult time, and they're asking those questions. And, and maybe you just need to, to look up and say, God, are, are you really there? And please, can, can you speak to me? And he will. You can just reach out to him. You can call our prayer lines. You'll see a, a number on your screen. You can talk to someone. We'd love to pray with you about whatever it is you're going through. Maybe you've just had tragedy in your own life. I just feel there's someone that's visually handicapped and you can't see the number that's on the screen, so may I read it carefully for you. Uh, it's toll free, 1-866-273-4444. Uh, one 
44. Uh, and uh, that's the ten. Can I have the phone number back up there, please, for just a moment? Again, uh, I, I just wanted to read it again for the visually handicapped. 1 866 273 4444. And of course, you can also, you know, plug in uh, with the uh, crossroads.ca. Well, as we're about to close out this hour, let me just take a moment to say that we as a ministry are totally committed to following God's leading and moving boldly into the future with strong spiritual and organizational leadership in place. This will enable us to seize opportunities for fresh, innovative, effective media programming that reaches people right where they are, kind of like the Hangar Church that Don and his uh, friend Mickey envisioned and saw realized. There are countless hurting people today who are, you might say, flying through the TV channels or the, the internet and social media sites looking for a place to land where they can find a relevant connection that understands their needs. And one of my roles in giving spiritual leadership here is to ensure that no matter what kind of innovative, targeted media approach we take, that we stay focused on the basic, unchanging truths of God's Word that transform lives for eternity. So as God leads and provides, I'm, I'm thrilled to be working alongside Don as our new uh, ministry chairman and CEO. And along with the rest of our leadership team, our staff, our volunteers, and you, we will make the greatest possible impact for God's kingdom purposes in these pivotal moments in history. So uh, Don and Faye, thank you for being here, and Dorothy and Dad, it's been a, a mention, great time for you. Let me mention one thing occurred to me, you know, when an airplane flies, the air doesn't push it up from the bottom. Actually, there's a vacuum created over the wing, and it's pulled up from the top. And that's the way, you know, God will just take you and, pull you to himself. Don, uh, this has been so special to see the hearts of Faye and yourself. Thanks, Don.